Hi, this is Don. I want to take a few minutes to go over uh, a typical problem that you'll see from section 8.1 in which we're dealing uh, with hypothesis tests about the difference between two population means, mu1 and mu2. And I want to show you how to do it using both StatCrunch, which is uh, the program I've been encouraging a lot of folks to look at, but I also want to show you how to do it using Excel and PHStat. Either way, StatCrunch or Excel with PHStat uh, really makes quick work of this, this kind of problem, as well as many other of the hypothesis tests that we'll be doing. So let's look at the question here. Uh, the claim is about the difference between two population means, mu1 and mu2, and we're given a significance level alpha. We assume the samples are random, independent, and the populations are normally distributed. Okay. That's all good, but how do we know whether we should do a z-test, a normal distribution test, or a t-test, a student t's distribution test? Well, the, the key is right here in the problem. We're given the population standard deviations, sigma 1 and sigma 2. If you're given the population standard deviations and you're told that the, the populations are normally distributed, uh, even though these sample sizes are less than 30, you're, you're pretty doggone safe to use the normal distribution, the, the Z distribution, to do the test. Okay, the first part of the um, question says determine the alternative hypothesis. Now, we're given that the claim is equal mu1 is equal to mu2. And that's also another way of saying that the difference, mu1 minus mu2, is zero. And that's really the way we would normally set up the um, the uh, alternative hypothesis. Excuse me, the null hypothesis. Remember, the null always contains the equality, and so the alternative is the complement of equals, and that has to be not equals. So we know since this is uh, alternative contains the not equal. That tells us that it's a two-tailed test, and to, to determine the critical value of z, we need to put alpha over 2 in each tail. So let's just use StatCrunch real quick to get the critical value. Okay, here's StatCrunch, and we're given alpha of 0.01, and we can find out the critical value of z by going to Stat, Calculators, Normal and we bring up our little nifty uh, dialog box here. And we can do it two ways. Uh, I'm going to click on between, and we know that the alpha is 0.01. That means that the area between the uh, two critical values, remember, since we've got a two-tail, we've got two critical values, the area between has to be 1 minus alpha, or 0.99 and click on compute and there's our 0.99 in red between the critical values of Z and the critical values are minus 2.56 and plus 2.56 so those are our critical values that we can use alright next thing we want to go ahead and determine our standardized test statistic and we're going to do that first using StatCrunch Going back to stat again, I want to go to Z stats, two samples, and we've got a summary. And we bring up this nifty dialog box. The mean of sample one is 18. The standard deviation for that population is 3.2. The size of sample one is 29. The mean of sample two is 16. The population standard deviation of that second population is 1.4, and the n for that sample is 26. Now we want to check that our hypothesis test is set up properly. Remember I said that we can restate this claim of mu1 equal mu2 as mu1 minus mu2 equals to 0, and that means our alternative is uh, has to be uh, the complement which is not equal to zero. So all we need to do is click on compute and we get our answer here. We get 
that the um, Z statistic is 3.055, which rounds to 3.06, which is their answer here. And we get a p-value of 0 0.0022. And I, I purposely wanted to show you this. The MyStat Lab says the p-value is rounded to three decimal places, 0 0.001. And we're getting 0 0.0022, which if you use the uh, standard rounding notion of less than five, this would round to 0 0.00. Zero. zero not 0 0.001. Well, why do we have 0 0.001? When you're doing hypothesis tests, it's uh, it's almost impossible, or I should say it is impossible, to get a p-value of exactly zero. And so the convention is uh, you would say that the p-value that reported is less than 0 0.001, and uh, here at MyStat Lab, they, they put in 0 0.001 equals. Um, if you put in point zero zero zero, uh, and I would, and that you don't get credit for it, I would go back and give you credit for that. So uh, that's how we do it using StatCrunch. Okay, let's put that down, and now I'm going to bring up Excel. Okay, here's our Excel, and like I recommended, I've installed PHStat. And you get the PHStat by clicking on the Add-ins tabs that, that will appear once you install PHStat. And we're going to click on PHStat, go down to To Sample, Summarize Data, which is what we have, and we want to do the Z test for difference in means. And we bring up a dialog box that is really very similar to the StatCrunch dialog box. And here our hypothesized difference again mu1 minus mu2 is 0, our alpha is 0 0.01, and our first sample size is 29, our sample mean is 18, population standard deviation for that is 3.2, our sample size the second is 26, sample mean is 16, and standard deviation is 1.4. Again, we uh, make sure that we've checked two-tail tests because we've got the alternative is a not equal. And I'm going to just double check those. 0 0.01, 29, 26, 18, 16, 3.2, 1.4. So I'm going to hit OK. And we get this tab added to our workbook. And the information in blue is essentially uh, the information that we input. There's our zero difference, 0 0.01 for alpha, 29, 26, 18 for the mean, 16, 3.2, 1.4. Our difference in means, which is our you know basic statistic, is 2, because that's just 18 minus 16. Our test statistic, our standardized test statistic, is 3.055, which rounds to 3.06, which is the same that, that MyStat Lab and StatCrunch got. We've got our critical values again, minus 2.58, which is a little bit different than I got with StatCrunch, but um, it's roughly the same. And there's our upper value. And there again is our p-value of 0 0.002. And when we use PHStat, it will draw the conclusion for you. We reject the null hypothesis. Let's go back here to the final part of the question. What is the proper decision? Well, we're going to reject the null because uh, from two ways. One, our standardized test statistic is in the critical area. Let me show you that again. Okay, here's the um, little sketch showing the rejection areas anything less than negative 2.58 or anything greater than positive 2.58. And since um, our standardized test statistic of 3.06 is going to be out here, that's in the rejection zone. So I just wanted to show you that. And our final thing, we reject the null. And there is enough evidence at the 1% level of significance to reject the claim. Why do we say 
reject the claim. Remember, the claim was the null. So we're rejecting the null, therefore, there's enough evidence to reject the claim. So I hope this helps and that you will consider using either PHStat uh, added into Excel or StatCrunch to help you get through these problems. Mm -hmm.